Today I'm going to read the story, What Has Changed, by Ellen Catala. In the beginning of this story, there is a table of contents. This is pretty common in a nonfiction story. So the table of contents tells us what's going to be in the story. So everything changes, it's on page two. Candles to electric lights, page four. Letters to telephones, six. Horses to cars, fires to ovens, paintings to photographs, feet to bicycles, and then a glossary. Everything changes, that's our first heading. So this page is gonna be all about how everything changes. As time goes by, you and everything in your world changes. You are not the same as you were a few years ago. You are growing up. The inventions around you are changing too. What did people do before these things were invented? How have these inventions changed over time? Let's look at a few of the important inventions in our world. Candles to electric lights. Before there were electric lights, people used candles or gas lamps to see at night. These did not give off as much light. Then the light bulb was invented. Soon it was much easier to work, shop, read, and play after dark. The world became a brighter place. Letters to telephones. For years, people could only talk long distances by writing letters. Then in 1876, Alan Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. After a while, telephone lines were connected, family and friends all over the country. Today, we have cell phones, no wires needed. Wow, look at how much it's changed. Horses to cars. How did people get around in the old days? By horse, of course. It took days to travel from one city to another and the roads were narrow and muddy. Then the automobile or car was invented. Travel became easier and the streets were made wider and smoother. Over time, cars got even better and faster. Fires to ovens. Long ago, people cooked food over an open fire. It was hard, hot work. Then the gas stove was invented. It made cooking much easier. As people went from using gas to electricity, the electric stove came along. Today, many people also use microwave ovens. They cook things very fast. Paintings to photographs. Long ago, it was not impossible to take, to take a picture of somebody. You had to draw or paint it. Then the camera was invented. So here's the first camera. At first, people still had to sit still for several minutes to have their photograph taken. Then cameras got better and taking pictures became a snap. This book is a little outdated too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a camera like this. This is one of the first digital cameras. Now everyone just uses their cell phone to take pictures. Feet to bicycles. It's probably hard for you to imagine a world without bicycles, but that's how it was for a long time. The early bicycles looked a little different from the bicycles we ride today. Early bicycles did not have padded seats or brakes. These changes made biking more comfortable and safer. Today, bicycles are even better. The end, and then there's a glossary. So the glossary has the key words in it and then their definitions. So we learned a lot about how different inventions have changed over time. I want you to think about how inventions might change throughout your lifetime. And they've already changed a lot since you were born, which is crazy. And they're gonna change even more as you get older. So I want you to think about how you might get around when you're an adult. What do you think the cars are gonna be like? What are the bicycles gonna be like? I want you to draw what these machines are gonna look like in the future, and then write a couple sentences explaining why you think they're gonna look or 
why they're going to look like that or what they're going to have with them or how they're going to impact your life. 